Hey guys, welcome back to my favorite field again. I decided to do another one of these, and you know, like I said in the last video, um, these probably aren't going to be weekly, even though I called them weekly cycle vlogs. And uh, yeah, I've just proved to you that they're not going to be weekly because this is two weeks after the last one, or nearly two weeks. So I suppose technically it sort of falls in the like the range of being weekly, or I don't, I don't know. But um, I wanted to make another one of these. Um, one, because there is, is still going to be <laughs> quite a while until uh, there's any, you know, proper new content on the channel. And uh, this is just kind of to fill the void a bit. And I, I realised that um, some of you are kind of getting a bit irritated because like the last um, five, I think, five videos, including this one, have been... Uh, just things that you probably weren't expecting, just like new stuff, different stuff. And, uh, you know, I get that some people are irritated by that, and that's kind of what I want to talk about a bit today. And I just realized I'm walking in mud. I've got it all over my shoes now. Why did I walk in this bit? I'm going to walk in the grass. So, um, in this one, I want to talk about two things. Just uh, some clear up some confusion about uh, some of the recent videos that have been on the channel, and I wanted to... Uh, clarify some things because a lot of people have been getting confused. Just wait for the car to get past. Alright, um, the first thing I want to clear up is um, the video that I made before this one, which was called What Do You Want? Which was basically just a vlog of me talking about um, ideas and um, things for the two-year anniversary celebration video that I'm going to make for August 1st. And basically, um, I want to make one long video um, to celebrate the, the channel being, you know, going for two years. And um, I had a few ideas. I am covered in mud right now. I had a few ideas of things to do in that video, but it, it was only a few. And I th figured, you know, well, I'll just make a video and I'll ask you guys for some things as well. See what you want. And um, a lot of you took that video to mean that I was lost for ideas completely, like for the whole channel, and I didn't know what videos to make. And that's not the case at all. I've got like tons of video ideas, and I'm working on a lot of them at the moment. And that's why, you know, that it's going to be a while till you actually see any of me. Oh, I've got mud all over my shoes. Why did I walk in the mud? Such an idiot. But yeah, um, a lot of you took it to mean that I didn't have any ideas for future videos. And so I got, like, one of two responses. Well, I mean, a lot of you guys understood, and a lot of you guys gave me good responses and, and uh, suggestions for things. But there was quite a number, quite a significant number of people who, who, who made that um, uh, misunderstanding. Made that misunderstanding, does that make sense? I don't know. But, um... There was, like, there was, there was two different responses that people had to that. The first one... Another car going by. Sorry, I'm just going to wait because it's too loud. Beautiful. Um, the first response was people just giving me um, YouTube poop suggestions for like sources to use in YouTube poops. Which I'm pretty sure I actually mentioned in the video that that's not what I was looking for. And that was when I was talking about the two year celebration video, which you also misunderstood. Um, I, I think I... I actually said, like, I'm not looking for things like make Mash Bandicoot 2 or make a Thomas YTP. I think those are the exact words I said. I'm not looking for YouTube poop requests. Um, so, you know, stop giving them to me because I don't want them. Um, but the second response was people just giving me um, nice comments and things just saying, like, um, you know, you should just make what you want to make and uh, you shouldn't let, let us decide. You should just, you know, make whatever, make whatever you want to. And... You know, that's really nice and all, but you completely misunderstood. Um, you know, I, I, I don't want to say like that, that was a bad thing to do because it was really nice to read some of those comments, except for the fact that you completely misunderstood what I was saying. So um, that's not what I was saying at all. I'm not lost for ideas for videos to make on the channel. I am just lost for ideas for, I, for things to do in this one pretty long video for August 1st. Everything else is is been decided by me and I've already got a load of ideas for videos to make. 
and I'll probably talk about them like near the end of like future videos and stuff because I do that in pretty much every vlog and stuff don't I I just say like oh here's some of the future videos I'm working on um, but today other than that confusion I just wanted to talk about something else which is something that I've gone over many many times but basically it's just concerning the uh, the new variety of content on the channel and I know a lot of you are kind of sick of me talking about this because I've, I've explained it in like every vlog I've made, like my reasoning behind it. But, um, you know, um, a lot of people who are, who are misunderstanding this are the people who don't watch those vlogs and are also the people who probably won't watch this video. So it, it, in a way it's kind of pointless of me talking about it here. But I just feel like I just need to talk about it again. Um, because, you know, a lot of you are kind of, well, no, not a lot of you, a few of you are kind of getting a bit irritated by this. And I completely understand that, you know, I'm not saying that you're um, wrong for getting kind of irritated by this. Because, you know, it would be kind of confusing, like I'm making just YouTube poops, every video is a new YouTube poop. And then all of a sudden I've got all this other stuff and there hasn't been a new YouTube poop since the Fosters collab, really. And even that, that one wasn't really completely made by me, so it really it hasn't been a new one since Smash Bandicoot Part 2. So, um, I, I get that a lot of you are kind of irritated by that, because, like, you subscribe to the channel for YouTube poops, all of a sudden there's all this other stuff, and you're like, I don't, this isn't what I came here for. And I completely get that. I'm not, I'm not annoyed at you for thinking like that. I would be too if somebody else did that, but, you know, you've got to understand that, um, well, for one, I'm not stopping YouTube Poops to do this other stuff. I'm doing it as well. And secondly, um, well, at least this is the way I see it. The way I see it is that um, even though it is slightly different content, it's still made by me. It's still, uh, there's still some of the same editing styles in there. And, um, you know, I don't, I don't think that anybody out there is just conditioned to only like YouTube poop and anything that's not labeled as YouTube poop they'll just completely dismiss. Because, you know, YouTube poop, uh, you know, a lot of people treat it like it is some kind of its own thing, like it's separate from every other thing on YouTube. And like the community is completely separated off from everybody else. And I don't think like that at all. I think it, it's just as valid. Uh, as, a YouTube, as YouTube content as anything else on YouTube. Because, I mean, even recently, like, uh, a lot of bigger YouTubers... Oh, God, I nearly fell over there. But, like, recently, a lot of bigger YouTube poopers... And, no, not bigger YouTube poopers. Bigger YouTubers. YouTubers. <laughs> YouTubers. Okay, that's the new term. YouTubers. I don't know what that means. But, like, um... Who was it? Who was it? It was, um... Peanut Butter Gamer, a while ago, um, when he made a video on um, the CDI games, he mentioned YouTube Poops, and then he said how they used to be a very common source in YouTube Poops. And then I think Markiplier said in one of his videos that uh, he still watches YouTube Poops and is, is one of his favourite things to watch on YouTube, which, <coughs> which I used in that Stuart K. Riley video, video um, for the YouTube Poop collab. And then, uh, just recently, um, one of the Game Theory videos, I think it was the one about the Fine Brothers thing, said, um, just mentioned YouTube Poops, even though he said, um, that, uh, the YouTube content that we watch nowadays is very different than the YouTube Poops from nearly a decade ago. You know, nearly a decade ago. Technically, it's over a decade, isn't it? Because YouTube Poop is actually older than YouTube. But, you know, even though he said, you know, it's pretty much dead and nobody watches them anymore, the fact that he actually still mentioned it means that it's still relevant. And, you know, a lot of YouTubers do count YouTube poop as, you know, a significant part of YouTube. And, it, you know, it has a place here. Whereas a lot of people in the YouTube poop community kind of segregate themselves. This is turning into something that I wasn't, uh, this wasn't what I wanted to talk about at all. But basically, um, I don't treat YouTube poop as its own thing, and I don't think that other people should either. It, it's, it's just another type of YouTube video, just like any other YouTube video. And uh, that's why I want to like try my hand at different types of YouTube videos, but do them in in you know the same sort of style as 
I, I'm used to because it's not like I I really chose this style like this editing style and the creativity it's not like I chose it it's just things that come naturally to me and so they they come naturally in other videos I make too and I think a lot of people think that I mean you, what I want to say is that um, YouTube Hoop I've been doing for years now you know before I even started the channel I was making YouTube Hoops on my old channel and um, I'm experienced in that. I, I know how to make good ones now. <laughs> you know, it, it, I know it sounds kind of bad just saying your own YouTube poops are good, but you know, I, I, I wouldn't, I would be lying if I said my YouTube poops were bad. But you know, I'm experienced in that. And all this other stuff I'm trying, like the cam comps and the gaming videos that will come soon and animation and stuff, that's all, I'm, all, I'm a beginner at all of that. And so they're not going to be good quality compared to other people's um, videos of that same style. But it doesn't mean I'm going to deny myself a try. And as time goes on, I will get better at that. It just comes with experience and practice and stuff like that. So um, I get that a lot of the videos recently, even if you like did try them and you did watch them, you might have thought, well, they're not very good, really. But, you know, I, I understand that, and I, I think that too. And I think some of the, my recent videos haven't been very good, not just because they're not YouTube hoops, but just because they're kind of amateurish compared to the other videos on YouTube that follow the same kind of patterns as these. But as time goes on, I'm hoping that the experience and the practice will help me get better at those. And this isn't what I wanted to talk about either. Basically, the thing I wanted to talk about in this in this vlog, and I'm just going to check the time. All right, how long have I been recording? All right, I've been recording 12 minutes now, so I, I think I'll keep this one fairly short. I won't make a, a 25, whatever the last one was, 25 minute. Um, but basically, what I wanted to say is that, I, you know, this isn't all of you. I know it's not. Most of you are really supportive of all this, but. Um, you know, if there's going to be people who are like, you should just make YouTube poops and what's all this other stuff, why aren't you making YouTube poops and stuff, then um, you're going to kind of ruin it for me. And I don't want that to happen at all. I don't want to see YouTube poop as this thing that I sort of have to keep doing because people just expect it. I don't want it to seem like that. And it doesn't at the moment, and I'm glad about that. I'm glad that it's still something that I want to do. It's still something that I'm motivated to keep doing. And it should be for a very long time. But the more people just kind of demand it, and the more people kind of just dismiss all this other stuff, the less motivated I'm going to be to actually do it. And I know there's going to be some people just saying like, oh, just ignore them. They're just like trolls and haters and stuff like that. They're just like self-entitled people who just feel like they should get this stuff from you, even if you don't want to make it. And I get that, and I know I, that, that some people are. But at the same time, it's I I don't want it to be like there's that kind of um, unsettling atmosphere around it and around the channel that it's just like um, if it's not a YouTube poop, then it's bad or something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. I, a lot of this I'm just kind of saying because um, it's just coming into my head. This isn't actually things that I, like, I'm worrying about or concerned about in uh, every day or anything like that. You know, this, this is, I understand it. I understand where people are coming from, from from this, and I hope you understand where I'm coming from from this. D does that make sense? From from two froms in a row. I don't know. When I don't have any kind of script or any kind of guidelines, I just mumble words, don't I? Um, but yeah, I, I hope that a lot of people understand that. And I know I've said all this before, and I've like explained my reasoning behind doing all this other stuff. But it's just, it, it's, I still kind of just need to reiterate it. And I know that people who are confused about this are the people who will just watch the YouTube poops and nothing else and thus they won't watch this video and thus they won't understand it and it's just like a cycle that I can't fix but I'm, I'm hoping that at least the majority of you understand this 
because, you know, I get where you're coming from. I get why some people are kind of irritated by this. And they're kind of like, I don't... I don't know why he's doing this other stuff. He's great at YouTube poops. Why doesn't he just keep doing that? And I am doing that. I, I And I know that it's been a while since there's been an actual YouTube poop on the channel. But... I think... I think... Sorry, just wait for the car to pass. I think the point I'm trying to make here is that I don't want YouTube poop to seem like it's just... You know, I get that it's kind of like the center of attention on the channel, but I don't want it to seem like it's a thing that's just separate from every other video on YouTube or every other video on the channel. Because it, it's just kind of... <laughs> It just kind of ruins it for me, and I feel like it should be equal to all this other stuff. And I know that the other stuff that I'm doing is kind of amateurish because I'm not as experienced in that kind of genre as I am with YouTube hoops. But at the same time, I'm doing some of the same stuff, some of the same editing style, some of the same creativity in those videos as, um, as I would in a YouTube poop. I just don't want YouTube poop to seem like it's just this this thing that's separate from everything else, like that tree over there that just happened to uh, match where I was putting my hand. I don't want this tree to seem like it's just separate from all these other trees. And, you know, some people will watch all of these trees, some people will watch that tree as well as these trees, but a lot of people just focus on that tree. And just, like, there's this huge gap between that tree and that tree, and I want that tree to be part of the, these trees, be amongst them. I mean, yes, obviously people are going to favour some trees over the other, but I don't want this one tree to be left out. I also don't want all this to be left out from that tree. I have no idea what I'm saying, but I hope you, you got the metaphor I was trying to say there. Um, it, always, <laughs> it always seems like when I make one of these, like I, I, I know I've only made two, but um, after the last one, I stopped the recording and I just thought, I, that, I don't think I got the message across in that video. I don't think I, I got my point across. I don't think I gave off the right kind of vibe with that video. I think it might have made people seem, made people think that um, it's, a, it's like a burden or anything and I, it, I'm like struggling to deal with it. I'm really not and I, I know I, I'm not like really energetic and enthusiastic about this when I'm talking about it. But, you know, it is great. The, you, the channel is great. YouTube is great. The videos I'm making are coming along nice. I was going to say they're great, but <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn. Um, but they're coming along nicely, and I might as well do a little update thing like I said I would. Future videos coming to the channel. So, what is happening? Um, I am currently working on a tennis First tennis round one, that's nearly done now, so hopefully that'll be coming out sometime soon. Um, there's another collab entry that's currently unlisted, so it should come out when the full collab comes out. Um, I have plans for a Madagascar YTP that I'm that I'm planning on doing pretty soon, or starting soon. It's going to be a big 12 minute one, so it's going to take a while to do. Hopefully I'll get that out before I... I mean, I don't want to set any deadlines, but I, I'm hoping that I get that out. Um, I'm hoping that I get that out before I film the retrospective, but I'm going to film that sometime in July, I think, or maybe even early June. I don't know, so it probably won't be um, in the retrospective, but then it's kind of weird because um, it might be finished before August 1st. So then you get the Madagascar YTP, and then a few days later you'll get the two-year celebration video with the retrospective in there, and then people will be like, why didn't you, why didn't you uh, do the retrospective, why didn't you include the Madagascar YTP in there? I don't care, what am I talking about? I don't, this, is, this is information that people don't care about. So I'm doing a Madagascar YTP sometime soon. After that video is done, I will start working on Ripto's Races 2, and I've got a number of ideas for that now. I've got, I've got quite a lot of ideas for that now. That's going to be an elaborate story one, like the 1K subspecial. Probably probably kind of different to that. Um, the Madagascar one is going to be a lot more traditional style with less of a story. Just some kind of stupid stuff in there. Um, and, and then um, 
Um, I've got, I'm still working on the Jacksepticeye animation. Oh, and also, um, I was watching Jacksepticeye's channel and he did a video on Spyro 3, which I thought was really cool <laughs> because like in the, in one case of special, I like put Markiplier in there and I pr kind of like made it look like he was playing Crash Bandicoot. But now Jacksepticeye is actually playing Spyro. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to use a lot of that in Ripto's Races too. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to do the Jacksepticeye animation. I'm still working on that. It's, it's coming along nicely, but you know, all these things take time. I don't know when they're going to be out. I'm mostly working on a weird kind of, I don't even know how to describe it kind of video. I, I did put a little clip on Twitter recently of, um, what, how long have I been recording? I said this was going to be a short one and that was about 10 minutes ago I said that. Okay, yeah, um, so that video will be coming, I don't know when. Um, it's a weird thing with puppets, I'll just say that. I can't really describe it any other way. Um, so, yeah, work, I'm working on that. Still not really started on the gaming videos yet, because I still haven't got everything set up completely. I thought I did, and then I didn't. Um... But I'm really, really striving to get those started as soon as possible because there's no point in postponing it anymore. I just want to hurry up and get it started. Not that I want to just like rush into it, but like I feel like I'm ready to start it and I can't yet because the equipment's not all ready yet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know what the next video on this channel is going to be. It's probably going to be that puppet thing. So I hope you like that. After that, it will probably, I don't know, it might be the collab entry before that, depending on when the collab comes out. Um, and then there'll be the tennis, then there'll be the Madagascar YTP, or the two-year anniversary special, depending on when they do, when they're done. I'm also going to do another cam comp sometime soon, probably like start of July or something. So yeah, um, I hope you um, kind of got the kind of thing I was trying to say in this video. Uh, I feel like uh, in these videos I kind of just ramble on a bit and then I don't really get the point across that I was trying to get across and I'm going to stop the recording in just a sec and I'm going to be like that's what I wanted to say that's how I wanted to say it but yeah, you know it doesn't matter I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're kind of enjoying this series um, I get that it's not everybody's cup of tea I don't have a cup of tea this time um, but I hope some of you are getting some kind of entertainment value from this and uh, I'll keep doing more of them if you guys want more of them. So, um, see you next time. Goodbye.